So what's going on, dreamers? God dang it! What's going on, everyone? And welcome to uh, back to Cookie Run Kingdom. Um, ignore the. Uh, Anybody what ready I've for said, dessert? Uh, that little mistake I made. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go back into Holiday Express. Now I know both. Chapter 5 is pretty much open, yep. Yeah. Alright, let's see how the final stop goes. So, the, uh, the culprit is... What? Scene 5-1, the culprit is... Why did you gather us? I thought it was over. And creme brulee cookie is here too? Yeah. We asked you all to come because... It is time to find out who was truly behind the old Jolly incident. Creme brulee cookie wasn't the culprit? No, because it was you! Royal Fair Jelly! Oh, okay. He! Is this some kind of a joke? <laughs> the Royal Fair Jelly was in the electrical room. Or so our conductor wanted you to believe. Take a look at this. Oh god, okay. Uh, uh, I think it has something to do with the uh, remote and all that, yeah. Uh, where is it? to uh, hit that like button and also subscribe so it can reach uh, 10 subscribers. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here we go. This remote control allowed Royal Bear Jelly to program the illumination and leave the post. The conductor's alibi is null and void. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Macaroni Kitty Kitty. Still, that thing alone is not proof it was Royal Bear Jelly who hurt Old Jolly, is it? I admit at first glance, the motive seems rather unclear, and that is what I assumed as well. And yet, the flame of suspicion starts with but a little spark. That is true. Oh no, no. Okay. What was the first thing about Royal Belly Jelly? It's just raising suspicion. It seems to have no emotion. Dreams. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> See, Nobody I knew about the fact that up. creme brulee cookie and I swapped our sweets because we didn't tell a soul. Oh, okay. Nevertheless, in the morning, Royal Bear Jelly went straight to creme brulee cookie's new suite as if knowing he would be there. Right. I okay. thought. Odd Could it suspicious. be that the conductor secretly visited our rooms while Creme Brulee Cookie and I were elsewhere? Mm, I don't know about that one, but... If okay. so, why? And then I realized one thing. What's that? God, okay, so what is it? Uh, why did Will Badger sneak into the suite and what was... This one is this one.
The manuscript for Linzer Cookie's upcoming novel. Of course, Royal Bear Jelly mentioned being a fan. Oh, <laughs> Indeed, that is the first thing that comes to mind. It was my initial guess as well. However, inside the envelope was... the envelope. I don't re really remember exactly. There's a manuscript. Oh, there it is. Oh, this one. Music. It, the envelopes looked exactly the same. Correct. Royal Bear Jelly tried to steal the manuscript, but ended up stealing the sheet music because our sweets oh. had been already swapped. Uh -huh. That is how the sheet music disappeared. That is what triggered the following chain of events. Right. Next scene. Next one. Scene five, two. Okay, two. Twenty-two before the incident took place. It's not the manuscript. They must have swapped the rooms. Hurry. I must put these back before anyone notices. Okay. I'm telling you, chum. I did it. Don't they know it? I want an old sugar note steal from me! Then why did you go near my sweet? I... I... I was lost! Right. <laughs> lost? In a hallway straight and narrow as this, I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> oh no! Creme brulee cookie noticed the disappearance! The only way to put the sheet music back is to sneak out during the ceremony. Okay, now it's starting to make sense. Uh, okay, yeah, I know. Leave me alone. Midnight, before the incident took place. Oh, thank heavens for the remote. To my quarters. Old Jolly, are you there? I just want to check one last time. Can we talk? No reply. Wait a second. <gasps> he almost saw me. But I must get the sheet music from my quarters first. Okay. Okay, before they enter the place is. again. Now all that's left to do is to put it back. Oh, my dearest conductor! What's that in your hand, pal? Oh, Jolly! What are you doing here? Don't be ho! I came to deliver the gift! But those sheets! You had them all this time? Oh, what I had to endure because of them! Uh, I didn't mean to! You stole it! I only tried to put creme brulee cookies gift in his room, but became the scape gnome instead. Because of you! Tsk, tsk, tsk. Tsk, 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 I must tell creme brulee cookie the truth and clear my good name! What did your parents teach you about stealing? Unbelievable! The conductor at that! Don't be doom. No! Stop! No! You're not going anywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
jolly. Oh, jolly! Oh, the gnome won't wake up. What have I done? No, no, no. <laughs> this won't do. No one must know. I should move the body. Move it? How are you going to move him? Five, three, the two candy canes, two. This is what happened. Old Jolly was inside the room service cart. Royal Bear Jelly moved the sugar gnome's body and returned to the kitchen with the empty cart. Right. And that's when Royal Bear Jelly placed the sheet music back in my room. Yes, the conductor paid your room a visit while you were in the banquet car. And yet. Royal Bear Jelly didn't know how to read sheet music and placed it in the wrong order. The conductor left no jam marks because the incident happened elsewhere. Oh, okay. Lies! Lies! All lies! It's a cookie. I may be your fan, but this is preposterous. It makes absolutely no sense. It makes no sense. Yeah, but where is the proof? The proof that Royal Bear Jelly is the culprit! Excellent question. The proof is right here. Oh, is it? Oh, the candy cane. It's something so obvious. Something in the crime scene that no one suspected. The fake weapon. Mother with jam. What about it? Uh, okay, so it's first and second. Can you? Oh my god, okay. Leave me alone. There, maybe it'll help it. Bit. Okay, uh, big one. Old Jolly's candy cane? Yeah. What looks like Old Jolly's candy cane is, in fact, a simple ornament from the holiday tree. If you look closely, you will notice it's brand new. Oh. <laughs> to hide this fact, Royal Bear Jelly increased the temperature in Old Jolly's sweet and melted the ice cream cake that was inside. The candy cane was soundly caked in the liquid. It also happened to seem as if it was Old Jolly's strawberry jam. Brilliant idea, if you think of it. Yeah, I'm getting props for that. Props, that's right! Sugar notes don't jam! The conductor bamboozled us all! <laughs> but why did Royal Bear Jelly swap the canes? Yeah, where is the real candy cane? That, my friend, is where things get interesting. You see, the real candy cane happened to cause some trouble. They're cutting out. Such trouble. It was absolutely necessary to conceal it. Oh. Conceal it, huh? Last for three more chapters. Just grab these really quick. Oh. Not that. All right. I know I got like 11 days, but I don't really care. So here we go. Dining car, chapter four. I mean, uh, part four. Scene five, four. Dining car. Candy cane from the crime scene is fake. That means the royal, the real candy cane is here. Okay, investigation begins. 
a teapot containing light lukewarm tea and breakfast. Wait, there seems to be something inside. Sorry. <laughs> Slowly melting away in the teapot. Upon closer ex examination, the worn handle indicates this belonged to Old Jolly. This mustache came off of the melted candy cane. Judging by the length of length and color, there's no doubt it belongs to Royal Bear Jelly. Sugar from sweetening your tea or any dish, really. This pot is filled with the brim. The menu of yesterday's supper and today's breakfast. How mouth watering. <laughs> yeah. Welcome message from Royal Bear Jelly to the passengers visiting the dining car. The conductor's handwriting looks soft and squeamish. A room service cart used in the kitchen. There's some sugar behind the curtains, which belongs to Old Jolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. I like those ones. Those are cool. I suppose that's it for now. <laughs> I know this text up here is a little annoying. But bear with me on that. Oh, that was it? That was the whole chapter? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. That was a pretty quick chapter. Scene 5-5, five, five, the truth is in the tea. Huh? That's... Teapot from the morning? An enclosed space, such as our Holiday Express, poses great difficulties for the culprit. If you throw an object out the window, someone will notice. If you try to hide it, someone might stumble upon it. Yeah. Holy macaroni! The conductor dissolved the candy cane in the tea! Oh, yeah, that's pretty much why it was melting. <laughs> it didn't fully melt, though. Precisely. Only our culprit made a critical mistake by leaving the teapot in a dining car we requisitioned earlier. It turned out the tea was insufficient to fully dissolve the fragments. Yep, that is true. But why was it necessary to dissolve the candy cane? Why did Royal Bear Jelly have to get rid of it all of a sudden? That is the question. What Detective Cheddar Cheese mentioned, this is where things get interesting. Bear jelly have to melt the candy cane. Uh... Oh. So uh it's this one? The second one. Okay. You see, in the course of their physical altercation with royal bear jelly. Old Jolly happened to pluck the conductor's mustache. Remember Royal Bear Jelly's so-called holiday style from earlier? Uh -huh. kind of. The hairs must have gotten stuck to the candy cane. It was super sticky after all. That is true. The conductor had absolutely no time to pick the hairs one by one. I doubt it was possible at all. <laughs> now hold on! If old Jolly's candy cane was in the tea, this means Royal Bear Jelly's mustache was also in it? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, 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 I drank two cups of Bear Jelly mustache! Oh. <laughs> This is nonsense! The, the 
conductor goes to the kitchen hourly, to and through, to and through. My, my, my mustache could stick to anything. Oh, okay, that's why you had to cut it. And how, how do you know this, this is old Johnny's cave? We run out of sugar. I, I used a, 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 another ornament from the tree to sweeten it. Okay. Of course, my friend, anything is possible. But this is where the criminalists come in. A quick analysis will reveal to whom the candy cane really belongs. And off to the next chapter. Yes, detective. I shall personally see that this candy cane is delivered to the lab as soon as we arrive at the station. Okay. <laughs> oh no. I'm. I'm. Oh, he fainted. Oh, okay. The culprit is on the run. Let oh. me help. No need. We have a specialist right here. Hi -ya! <laughs> Going somewhere? Hmm? <laughs> oh, okay. Alright! Fine! I, was I did it! I didn't mean to, but I did it! I just... I just wanted to read the novel! <laughs> okay... I didn't mean to hurt the sugar gnome, I... I panicked, and I thought I'd perfectly covered my tracks. Well, you didn't, so. That's where you are mistaken, Conductor. There is no perfection when it comes to crime. <laughs> yeah. Only cold, hard truth waiting to be unveiled. And this is the reason why I write my novels. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, old. Jolly, what have I done? <laughs> I'm alive! Oh, God. <gasps> uh, okay. Old oh, Jolly? Oh, no. Did I crumble too? Am I in heaven? <laughs> oh, my God, this guy. Possibly. We sugar gnomes are hardy and resilient. <laughs> I'm blowing a candy cane. I can handle that. Nope, nope. But it did knock me out. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. And for longer than I would like to admit, this holiday fatigue seems to be getting to me. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh, I'm so happy you're alive and well, my friend. Uh, but yeah. please... Do something about that strawberry jam. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, goodness. <sighs> I will turn myself in as soon as we reach our destination. Well done, macaroni cookie. Another case solved. <laughs> Is it just me, or does crime follow wherever we go? Yeah, that's what happens when you become detectives. Final chapter, the final stop holidays. Okay. All right, let's do the last chapter because I think I have enough time for that. And I think they'll last long. Last that no Oh no. Let's do the last chapter. Scene five six. The final stop. Holidays. Welcome to the Cookie Kingdom. Mm hmm. Are you ready for merry holiday festivities? Hell yeah. Last. It was a long journey. I'd say. Windsor Cookie. Creme Brulee Cookie. I wanted to thank you for all that you've done. My good name is cleared thanks to you. <laughs> I only did what I thought was right. I knew you would say that. Then how about Happy Holidays? I like it better. It's been a while since we met during the holidays, isn't it? Remember? You wouldn't find time for me because of your endless practice sessions back then, too? <laughs> oh. Wasn't it you who would talk ceaselessly about crime and jam after the success of your debut novel? 
I feel like they know each other too well. Oh, come on, you liked it. Huh. Yes, I did. Say, will you come to see the concert tomorrow? I've been practicing quite a lot, you see. Very well. I think I might be able to find some time. It just so happens that I finished my manuscript last night. Oh. You wrote while well, all those things were happening. Pretty of course, there's no better time. I used to only write about cookies before. But this time, other desserts will appear too. This little fact might or might not be crucial to the plot. Hmm, sounds intriguing. I only hope the culprit is not the pianist. <laughs> <laughs> you will find out soon enough. happening here yeah oh. oh look it's snowing happy holidays creme brulee cookie happy holidays Windsor cookie <laughs> that was good I really enjoyed this one People that made uh, Cookie Run Kingdom actually really know how to make stories, well, just like Genshin. Alright, well, I guess I can skip it now. Finn! Yeah! <laughs> yep, and complete. So, clear! Chapter 5. That's the end of that. I am still missing some because of, because of these challenge ones. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, is this is really a titles. I mean, do I want too long maybe i don't know depends on how much i gotta cut out but don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 10 subscribers yeah yeah and uh we'll see what the next event for uh Kick run kingdom is who knows i don't know uh maybe they'll do something for new year's uh i highly doubt it but this new year's is only a one day thing so maybe they'll do something for uh, valentine's day we'll see i think valentine's day might be the next one I think it gives them more time to uh, prepare. So, I believe Valentine's Day might be the next event that we do. But, you know, they come up with different storylines for other things, too. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so, anyways, on that note, bye!